bundles or uh, vector bundles over the over the digging rings. So um, uh, I, we will go back to that tomorrow. Okay. So do not worry if you miss a bit the end of the talk of yesterday. So today I will do uh, generalities, a bit on the board, and then with uh, the help of the computer of Mark, because mine. Uh, <laughs> Uh, declared uh, to, to be uh, outside the game. So the, the we continue with what is the node. So, so the Zariski topology is not enough when you want to deal with torsors. Okay. So uh, in the history of mathematics, we, we know exactly when uh, it happened. Okay. It was April. 11 of 1958. Okay, so during a talk by Say with Kotendik and others, and th and then it was uh, they, they they made exactly the, the, this uh, this uh, comment that the risky uh, topology is not enough, and and they were inspired by uh, others uh, kind of torsors. Uh, and other kind of, of groups. So what we, are, what we have done with GLN, okay, so if you know topology, so GLN torsors or GLN uh, co-cycles if you want, because I did not introduce yes torsors, uh, are related with vector bundle, but, but you, ca you can go further and for, and for example, look at quadratic vector bundles, okay? And when you look at quadratic vector bundles, the right group scheme to consider is the orthogonal groups, okay? so. Uh, so I, I did not buy, uh, I, I just, O to N, uh, so the, the, the so I, I take uh, the, the G, so that Q, uh, I mean the orthogonal group where IP is a, is a, is a hyperbolic quadratic force, okay? So what it is, it is over R to N, and this is the form Xi, Xy, okay? Well, if you prefer, you can take sum of squares, but in algebraic geometry, this is more natural to take this one, because sum of squares, you know, do not behave so well but two, okay? And uh, and then uh, the what are a quadratic bundle? So well, I, I, of rank uh, say two n today, okay? So is a pair. So m q, where m is a locally free. Uh, air model of rank 2n, I say, um, and Q a quadratic form. Okay, so it's a it's a function like that, uh, satisfying uh, several rules. So the so first is too homogeneous. So Q lambda m is lambda square Q of M. And secondly, the, the, when you look at BQ, so BQ of M1, M2, so I do not divide by two, and this is important, this is not what you learn. So this is, a, this is symmetric, this gadget uh, is a symmetric bilinear form. Okay? And uh, we say we say that Q it is uh, regular uh, if this BQ okay is regular. And so BQ you can see it as a as a as a morphism between M and the dual of M. And regular means that th this map here is an isomorphism. Okay. And then uh, what happened? If we do a bit the, the co-cycle uh, things of yesterday, okay. So 
uh, you have your, your ring here, and you, uh, the risk kick over uh, of spec here. So you, you can define exactly as I did for GLN, but for this guy, uh, the uh, this co-cycles. So the, the only difference is that as a co-cycle to be orthogonal transformation, okay? And you, you can try to, see, to, to, to play the same game. What, 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 what you can do with that, and this is clear what we can do, because uh, this O2n, okay, is nothing but the, 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 isomor the isomorphism group of, of this, uh, I mean, this split of the anterobolic forms. And when you, you, when you have co-cycles for the risky, it means you can glue. And so what you get, uh, are so-called quadratic bundles. So here, you, you, you get quad up to isomorphism, so quadratic bundles of rank 2n uh, localize and trivial over u. Trivial in the sense hyperbolic over u. And of course, this is nice, but it's not what we want, okay? Because you have other quadratic bundles, okay? So like that, there is no way to, if you take air to be uh, air, there is no way to, to get this quadratic form, right? Because this quadratic force, I mean, you, over a field, okay, you, the, the Zariski site is, is trivial, okay? And this quadratic forms is not isomorphic to the hyperbolic. So if you want on, on the right side, right hand side of the blackboard to have not only those locally trivial over some Zariski cover, okay, you have to change the co-cycles you play with. Okay? And, and then uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a reason to introduce a new, uh, I mean, uh, etal topology and also uh, flat topology and uh, as Joseph uh, told us uh, before, so there is also, there are other Krotendik topology. And uh, I, I will discuss, uh, like uh, Nisnevich topology, I, wi I will discuss more uh, later. So this is one reason. One other reason to, to say that the risky topology is not enough is when you look at functoriality. Functoriality is essential, you know, in, in that area of, uh, <laughs> of mathematics. So what, 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 we what we like to do is to, to, for example, to play with different groups. It, and to, as I did already, you know, yesterday with a tensor product of a vector bundle, for example. And then, uh, 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 the, 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 the simplest, maybe, example of functoriality, okay, is when you look at the linear group, uh, GM, I think I put it as a linear group in, uh, of, dimension, of dimension one, okay? And, and, uh, and then we, we have seen yesterday that the, when you deal with, uh, with H1 and, uh, and it, it corresponds to, to, to line bundles, okay? And what I can do, I, I can take this Kummer, Kummer map uh, for some D uh, like that. And then, uh, uh, w when you look at, 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 at cohomology of that, well, I, I go directly to the things. What, what you get uh, uh, is, is, a, is, is, a, is a Picard of R, okay? By, by, because Picard of F, this classifies the, 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 I mean the invertible models. And we know exactly, we have, we, uh, what, what, what is what is this map? Okay, this change of group maps in terms of of bundles uh, of invertible model. It take i, and it takes the power of d. Okay, but then uh, you, you will like to understand what what you know what is next and what is before. Okay, and for that, uh, if you stay at the level of the risk in topology. Uh, you, you, you cannot see too much, okay? So, so what happened, I'm, I'm just talking a bit about the kernel, okay? So the kernel, uh, so the, the, the kernel should be, 
I did not define it yet, but something like uh, H1 R uh, flat and this mu d, okay? But you, you, there is a way, uh, we will see that later, but uh, there is a way to understand how looks this kernel. And this kernel uh, is, uh, you, 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 you have to, I mean, you, you have, okay. Yeah. Sport. Yeah. This kernel, you, 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 you have to, 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 to think in terms of a bit of categories, okay? And, and, and so this you introduce this uh, AD of R, okay, that the isomorphism class. So it's going to, to a group of what? Of I theta, where I is an invertible model, and theta, a trivialization of it. Okay, so R of I tensor D. Okay, so it's clear when you have a I like that, it goes to zero here, okay? And I, I have to say, uh, it's clear what one what, what isomorphism class and we, is that, uh, I mean, E theta is the same guy that this one. If uh, uh, I, 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 there is uh, some, uh, sorry, there is some isomorphism F, such that uh, this commute, right? So here you have theta, theta d, f tensor d, and f prime d. And what happened is that this, uh, we, what we find, we find uh, that this ADR is nothing but, uh, uh, so it goes to this peak air and to this kernel. But of course, what is the kernel of this map? And so that, of course, I can multiply all these things, so this is a group. And uh, if I take a i, so if I take an element i theta here, uh, so going to zero, it means that i is trivial. Then to say that i is trivial is here I put r, okay? And, and then I have an isomorphism between r and r, so this is an element of r star. So actually, uh, I, I have a, and, and this element of first stars depend, is de well defined up to a d power. So you get something like that. And, and, and if, you, if you think about these things, okay, for the people know, you see that this, this ADR here is exactly what I want for, for this flat or cohomology uh, here. Okay, so this is by ants, okay, but it gives you the intuition of going, what's going on. Okay. So, uh, so maybe this is the right moment to, to ask questions because I, I will start to push the button. <laughs> yes? No? Okay, so, so I'm very happy that this thing works. <laughs> Yeah, where I have to push. Yeah. <laughs> oh, here. This goes this way. Okay. The other one okay. Goes the other. You see? Okay. You're not looking. This one? That, that's perfect. That's great. That's great. So, uh, so I know I, I come back this. Uh, I, I come to this uh, to this Crotendix ID. Okay, is to extend the notion of covers in algebraic geometry. So they did it uh, originally in uh, 1958 with Etal. But uh, today, uh, I, I will describe the, the flat cover setting because it's almost simpler, you know, than the etal things. Uh, it's, it's because it's, it's, it's easier to define what is a what is a flat map than an etal map. Okay, and also it's a, it's slightly more general. So and uh, what what changes is 
the setting with the ring and this flat uh, business, this is exactly the, the setting of, of, of the book of uh, De Masure et Gabriel. So this is in French, okay, it's 1970. There is a, uh, a translation which is not full, but which is uh, in English, which is already good, okay? So, so th that's really what I follow. So, so uh, uh, what is a flat cover? So it's flat, or we say FPPF, so in French it is Fidelement Plat de Présence sur Fini. Uh, so you take your, your ring, you take a finite collection of L rings, okay, you, you ask that not only they are flat, but they are of, of finite presentation. And also you, you ask that the, the, the spectrum of R is the union of the image, okay? Well, so that, uh, I think there is nothing really new for you. And, and one important thing is that we can take the product of the S, okay, and, take and deal with a single ring, okay, because this S is going to be uh, also a, 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 a flat cover, okay? So, so there are two schools, okay, one dealing with a single ring, okay, so I, I will use that uh, next, and other people, they prefer to, to keep this S side because this is, I mean, they keep, <laughs> they keep track of the, of, of, of things from topology, okay? And one special case, of course, of flat covers, this is a case of Zariski cover, okay? So you, you just take a partition of unity, okay? And, and then uh, this F, RF1 and times is, is a, RFN is a, is, is a Zariski cover, is a flat cover. Okay, so uh, I, I want to define a situation on Nabeyan cohomology. So, so as I said, I, I, de I, de I, de I deal uh, with one single uh, uh, S, okay? And then we have these maps, okay? So this P, P is, uh, upper star, I mean, this co-projection, uh, and uh, all, I mean, for one, two, for one, two, three, and you have also this kind of partial co-projection. Yes? I don't know if anybody has the faintest idea what you mean by co-projection. What is that? <laughs> Are you sure? Sure, sure, sure. I can, I can. I can. Uh, you, you, you. Is that right? That's the first one. The second one's that. Okay. So the second one. Now, I, I, I know you prefer always to take the, the, the dual viewpoint of schemes, no, okay? No, 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 no. <laughs> no, no, but... That's the reason of the co, because... Yeah, got it. <laughs> no, sure, but... <laughs> okay, so I'm, I, I'm taking an air group scheme, okay? So, for example, GLN or orthogonal group, whatever. And what is the one co-cycle for this cover, okay? Is an element G which is in the, in the tensor product of S, S tensor R, which satisfies the co that, that rule, which is a co-cycle rule, okay? And uh, so then uh, we, we call this uh, Z1, uh, S over G, this set, and we, we, I have to explain what I mean by uh, two, two co-cycles, remember yesterday, with, with this GI, okay? So we, we, we have these cohomological things, okay? So we say that two co-cycles, Curl G, G prime are cohomologous if there exists some H in GS such that you can write G as P1, P1 lower upper star H minus 1, G prime P2 lower star H. So, so this is, you can see that as a group action, okay? So this is an equivalence relation. And again and again, this H, okay, is not unique, okay? It's not reason to be. Okay, so in case of a certificate cover, uh, the definition is the same as before. I mean, you can just write explicitly what means all this uh, upper star and so on. You, you will get the same definition. And we can, we, we can pass to the limit on all flat cover of spec R and define this, uh, th this change uh, cohomology for G. So this is only for H1, okay? And so... Uh, the, the, this construction in, is, is functorial in the ring, okay? You can always base change uh, 
over here, and also you, it's functorial in the group scheme. In, in, I mean, you, you can go, if you have a, uh, when you have a map like that of, of group schemes, so maybe actually this is written, but uh, no, no, sorry. You, 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 I mean, it's here, sorry. You have a map, uh, F lower star, H1, H. Okay, so now I come to torsors. So uh, there are left and right torsors, so I'm a right torsor person, okay? So <laughs> I write torsor G, X for, G, for the group which respect to the, to the flat topology is an R scheme, okay, which is equipped with the right action of G, which satisfies two rules. The first one is uh, the simply the simple transitivity, simply transitivity property, okay, in, in that setting. So it means that when you look at the action map, uh, which takes xg to x and x point g, this is an isomorphism. But there is a second rule people uh, forget time to time, is that you, you need this gadget to, to be not empty in, in, in the sense I, I wrote, okay? So because the, the empty set, the, the empty scheme satisfies the first rule, okay? But you need a flat, you, 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 you need the existence of a flat cover, R prime over R, such that X of R prime has a point, okay? So, so depending on the author, there are other ways to, to write the second uh, rule. But I, I'm taking this one. So the first condition, as I said, the reflects the simply transitivity. And actually, uh, concretely, it means that GT acts, sim acts simply transitively on XT for all airings T. Okay, so this is totally equivalent to say that and to say I. And of course, you, you can be a bit disoriented because XT might be empty, but of course, on the empty, I mean, any action on the empty set is simply transitive, as you know. Okay, so. And so the second condition is a local triviality condition, okay? And the basic example of torsors is when you take X to be G, with G acting on itself by right translation. So this is called the split tors G torsor, okay? Or the trivial G torsor, depending. Okay, so I, I wrote again the, the axiom, the rules. So an important thing is that if you have a torsor X having an air point, okay? is defined a morphism, so, which is just the orbit map. You take G and you, you map to XG, and this is an isomorphism, okay? Because the, the, simply, the, the simple transitivity property implies this map to be an isomorphism. And we say that X is trivial in that case, huh? and that phi X is a tri trivialization, okay? And then one way to refresh condition two, huh? since, since in condition two, uh, I, I asked that uh, this uh, to have a point of air prime is to say that my torso X is locally trivial with respect to the flat topology. And no, I, 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 so I, 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 I presented the object. I have to present the morphism. And a very nice things with uh, with torsors is that, that the uh, uh, the isomorphism the, the morphism are isos. So why? So, a morphism of G torsor X to Y is a G has to respect the, the, the action of G, G equivalent map. And once again, the, 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 the simple transitivity condition shows that such a morphism must be an isomorphism. So, 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 so that this category of G torsor is a, is a groupoid, okay? And, uh, okay? So maybe I go, I go fast, I don't know. Uh, Please uh, ask any questions. That's, uh, okay, now I, I look at the air functor of homo homomorphism of, of the trivial G torsors. Okay, so what, what are the possibilities? Uh, you know, I have G, and I, I want to look at, uh, at automorphism of G, which commutes with the right action of G. If you think just a bit about it, you see that the only possibility are the left translation. Okay, so, 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 and then, uh, so, so, I denote by 
I, I, I have another notation, which is H1 FPPF RG for the set of isomorphism class of G torsor. Okay? And, uh, and again, I can, I can look at a relative version with some S over R with, for the, the, the isomorphism class, which are trivialized over S. And, uh, and as exactly as in the vector, vector model cases, okay, we, we, we will construct a class map coming from the torsors, I mean, from the geometric size to uh, the cohomological size. Huh? So the, uh, the difference is uh, between both is that I have this small change, okay, uh, which is for non abelian cohomology, okay? And so how does it go? Okay, so I, I'm taking the, 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 the co-cycle viewpoint, okay? So I take a G torsor over R equipped with a trivialization, okay, over S. Okay, so phi. So uh, my, my convention was always to, to start with the, the, the split object on the, I mean, as source. <coughs> so when, when, when we go to this uh, tensor product S over L, we have then two trivializations. Huh? Uh, uh, sorry, uh, there is a, uh, we have P, P1 star phi and P2 star phi, okay? But then when you look at, at the difference between the two, it has to be an automorphism of the trivial jet or source, okay? So, but we know that these things are just the G, the, the, the G so, so that's defined me an element G on GS tensor S, okay? Bon, so this is uh, routine to show that what I got is, is a co-cycle, okay? And also, I can look at the, ch the choices I, I had, this phi, up, I can, I can change it by an element of G of S, okay? So, uh, so, so, so then my, I, I define my properly my class map just by sending uh, to X the class of this co-cycle G, okay? Uh, okay, so, and, No, so there is something, uh, okay, so uh, the, the slide is not precise enough, so uh, let, let me summarize a bit. Okay, so wha what I have from some S over R, okay, so I have these things here which classify torsors, so geometric objects. This class map here, uh, S over R, which is the, co the non abelian cohomology. Okay, so what is not very hard to show <laughs> is that this map is injective, okay? Uh, what, what is a more delicate thing to, to see, to, to investigate, is, is uh, uh, what is the image of this map, okay? So if you remember, uh, when we, when we I, I did not show it properly, but I said how it was working, when it was with GLN and, and Zariski covers, the way, the way to, 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 to show that this map was uh, an isomorphic objective for GLN, the way was to, to use Zariski gluing, okay? But then here, because you know for schemes you can always glue Zariski. So if you want to, 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 to start from here and, and to try to define a geometric object, okay, you, you, you need to find a way to glue for those Grotendieck topologies. And this is exactly the purpose of, of, uh, of this technical issue, which is called, which, which is, which is uh, fantastic, and uh, which is called facely flat descent. So facely flat descent, uh, uh, you have of course more advanced versions that, 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 that were said, but this one is the main one, okay? And uh, it's something uh, which does not, uh, uh, which is more general than my setting. So, so, so namely, uh, that's the reason why I change of my notation, so T is an arbitrary, faithfully flat extension, 
Okay? Face value flat is the same thing that's surjective. That's flat plus the surjectivity at, at the level of spectrum. And then, uh, the, the, the thing is to, to, to take the, the, this uh, t uh, power d for d times. So you take d times the Prancer product. And we can consider the, the so called Amitsur complex. And so I, mix, so I have to, so, is, so you take an air module, so this is in the Knuth booth, for example, so it's, it's everywhere actually, but it's a, uh, you, 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 so the first map go to, to M to M tensor T, and I have to say wh what are the differentials, okay? So it, it's, a, it's a complex, so the, 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 the differential is, is the kind of thing you can imagine if you, if you are in this homotopical world, okay? And the, the, uh, this, so the, this complex is, a, first this is a complex, okay, this is true for any rings, but when I assume T to be faithfully flat, this, this is, uh, uh, this complex is exact. And then, if, if I take just uh, uh, an affine scheme X, X, okay, then it, 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 it implies, okay, that the air point of my scheme X, okay, so, and because for the advantage of affine scheme is that we, we can always very easily do, deal with algebras, okay, so, so my X is spec of air of X, right? And so, and so what is the X point? This is ohm air of air X, To R, okay, and then I, I'm taking as M this guy, and what I write, what what means just the exactness uh, at the beginning, what I get is that X of R is nothing but the element of X of T. So, of course, X of T goes to X of T, okay. So, and and which satisfies the rule that the P P one upper star is P two upper star when you go to this test on T. And actually, this this is all for any scheme. Okay, not only for affine, but uh, so what this formula tells you is that you don't you don't lose any information. Okay, from going to R to T, once if you if you keep track, uh, I mean, uh, of what happened on 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 this tensor product. Okay, so so of course that setting I, I, uh, recovers. I mean that. A, a lot of different things. Uh, well, and I continue with, with, with descent, okay? So we, we can go further, okay? Uh, given a T module N, uh, that's the same. So again, there is typo, this is P2 upper star. Uh, we get two, two different modules, P1 upper star and P1, uh, P2 upper star on, uh, uh, on T tensor T. And and a descent data in this context, so this is an isomorphism of uh, T, T2 modules, okay, satisfying some rules which is, which is, uh, which is very similar to the rules uh, for co-cycles. So, uh, so, of course, the rules is that uh, it has to be commutative, and I have to tell you uh, what are these uh, phi i, phi 2, phi 3, and, and this is the kind of thing you can imagine. Okay, so th you can learn that in five minutes. So you have to take a book, but it's 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 uh, just to show you what happened. So and then uh, so I continue, and then there is a clear notion of morphism for t module equipped with the distant data because the distant data is just this phi. Okay. Yes. In the formula, you switch the order. Of yeah. 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 Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Oh. Uh, no, it's a, it's a bit, uh, yeah. Okay. You have to follow the book and to trust. Yeah, yes. Okay, fair enough. Yeah. But what, what is interesting is that when you have a, an air module, I mean, not a T, an air module, when you look at the identities, it gives you a canonical isomorphism between this P star. So what I'm saying is that M tensor T comes with a canonical descent data. And the theorem is 
that is with facially clad descent array or of Grotten Dick. Uh, this, this functor M, which associates to a R module M to this tensor things uh, and the canonical descent is an equivalent equivalence of categories between the category of R module and that of T modules with descent data. And furthermore, we know exactly uh, the how to go back. The, the, so when you have N phi, the way to define an R module, the, the corresponding R module, is, is, is to take this rule. Okay, N tensor one is phi one tensor. And so this theorem, okay, recovers, for example, Galois descent theorem and uh, uh, the risky gluing and many other things. Okay? Mm -hmm. And uh, once you have a thing uh, for modules, okay, you, you, you can uh, upgrade it, okay? So instead of, of, of considering R modules, you can consider uh, R, al R algebras, okay? And, and you have the same correspondent for R algebras. But you can even... Uh, Push that, that thing. Uh, for example, you have an equivalence of uh, for affine air group schemes and uh, and uh, affine T group scheme with the descent data which preserves the group structure and so. On. Okay, so w so now uh, I slow down a bit. I, I go back to a vector bundle. Okay, so a consequence. Uh, 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 so an. An important example of, uh, of what, what I was discussing is, uh, is, uh, is uh, some extension of swan serre's correspondence, okay? Uh, so, so this is in the, in the stack project, if you want. So, uh, 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 so, uh, so the theorem says that if you have a locally fair module, Okay, I can consider the air functors, or I will say, of trivialization. Okay, the isom of S module uh, between S R and Z, and that thing is is a is a GLR torsor. Okay, I denote it by X N. Okay, and uh, so that's good to know. And actually, so uh, you. This functor M to XM induces an equivalence of categories between the group void of locally free R models of an R and the category of GLR torsos. Okay, so this is a this is a I mean a more uh, conceptual way to 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 describe uh, what we have done uh, so far. Okay. Uh, so and. This implies that the GLR torsors are the same with flat topology or with the risky topology. And etal between, between the two is the same. Okay? And uh, this, is, this is very important. Okay? So, so for this is an abstract way to, 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 take, to talk about uh, Hilbert uh, 19 uh, Krotendik, I mean, uh, that the, the, the GLR torsors for the flat, what, what are exactly what you, what you uh, we have done yesterday. I mean, with the Zariski thing, but of course this is specific to uh, to, to GLR uh, and to a few other groups. This kind of property. I mean, only very few groups actually satisfy uh, this kind of statement. They are called special by Krotendik. And in particular, if R is local or semi-local, uh, we, 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 we I mean we get that H one FPPF is trivial. Okay. Uh, because it's, you know, for, for, for the risk, is nothing will happen. Sorry. Okay. So I said already before, okay, so I'm, I'm coming back to the general setting. I said the, 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 the it's easy to, sh to see that the, the, the class map is always injective. Uh, I, I skip that, okay. Uh, you have that in the note. Uh, <laughs> uh, okay, so. Uh, I, I'm interested in, in, in the theorem, and the theorem says, if G is affine, then the class map, okay, is an isomorphism. So, so affine is uh, is is really uh, needed, okay. So there there are some results by Renault, uh, uh, for example, for uh, abelian schemes, telling you uh, exactly what happened in those cases, okay. So uh, it's not because I'm lazy. Uh, <laughs> It's because this is the right statement. And 
So what this statement says is that when you have a co-cycle, okay, it, it always comes from uh, some G torsor when G is affine. And then for that, as I said before, it involves this, uh, this glue, I mean gluing or descent. And, uh, and uh, of course we never see, okay, so of course we can pass to the limit, but uh, this, this is not, uh, the, 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 I mean the work is always at, I say, a finite level, d dealing with some, some, some cover. And so as I said, the, the, we can descend torsors. Uh, it's a consequence of the, of the, of the big result uh, uh, I said before. So let me say that. So why, why can we define, why, why can we descend torsors? So I have to use somewhere that G is affine, okay? And I use that G is affine by, by looking as before to, to, to this coordinate ring, okay? So we are given a, a co-cycle, okay? And I want to construct a G torsor. And what I, when I have the G like that, okay, I can, I can, I can look at, uh, uh, so LG is a, is a left translation, okay, and the LG star is, is when, what happens when I take the, the coordinate rings, okay, so I can consider the LG star, and I have to define a, a descent, okay, so a descent is a phi G, and the phi G, uh, is, is defined like that, okay? So of course you have to check that all ax axioms are, <laughs> all rules are satisfied, but it works. So I have to define this map alpha, so uh, here, the map beta uh, uh, alpha and beta are, are defined as that, so they involve, as you can imagine, uh, P2 uh, and, and P1. And uh, LG is defined, and so the, the, this diagram defines this phi G, okay? And then uh, the, the what we show, uh, that, uh, that the, con the, the concycle condition of that phi G, the, the same phi, uh, uh, is a descent data for, the vi for this algebra SG. And this descent theorem defines an R algebra X, and it's having to show that uh, this X uh, comes, I mean, uh, comes equipped with a, with a, with a G torsor structure, okay? But, uh, so this torsor is denoted by EG, okay? It's, and that's the way we, we, we glue, okay, in, uh, uh, in, uh, uh, we, we glue, glue is, is, is not the, the right uh, frame, uh, the right uh, word, it's, be, it's before to say descent, okay? Huh? Uh, how how we, we, we descend things. Okay, so this construction I, I have said before is a special case of so-called twisting, okay? So more, more generally, if Y is an affine air scheme equipped with the left action of G, then uh, uh, I can look at the action map, okay? So G was my uh, co-cycle, I remember, and is defined a different data. And what I get is, is give rise to the twist of YG of y by this one cos cycle. So it's, a, it's affine, okay? And this yg comes with essentially the same, the same features than, than, the, than, than y in, this, in the sense that uh, uh, it, it is, a, I mean, it is close to b, I don't know what I say. So let, let me just uh, show you an example of that. So when you take uh, the, the special case uh, uh, of g, acting on itself by inner automorphism, okay, so by, uh, uh, by um, gx, g minus one. Uh, what you get, is, I call it gg, is, <laughs> so capital G, small g, it's called the twisted air group scheme because that, that object is again an air group scheme. And it acts on, on the left on the yg for y as above, okay? So, so, so basically, you, you, what I mean is that you, you can descend, uh, if, if you respect up, if, you, if your descent data respect uh, structure, like a group, a torsor, a action, uh, whatever, then when you descend, you, 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 you keep the same thing, okay? So, so this is very important and useful. And I did that with co-cycles, okay? Uh, there is a way, uh, 
it doesn't re not really depend of cost cycle. So, of course, you can take two cost cycle and see the, you you and take a trivial. I mean, take a co-boundary and see that the thing identify. And okay, so it's, it's going to be boring. So there is a way. Uh, there is a way uh, which is uh, which is more clever. Okay, which uh, uh, which is called. Uh, uh, veg products, okay, which permit to, to define this, these objects in, in quite an intrinsical way. Okay, so I do not discuss that, but uh, the, the reference for, for, for this uh, for this kind of of, of, uh, of twisting, I mean abstract twisting, I will say, uh, is zero books. Uh, okay. Bon. So. I come back to, 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 the, to, to this assumption of affineness, okay? So in practice, it's, it's too strong, okay? Because some people can be interested in an elliptic curve, for example. So if you want to, 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 to use descent uh, for, uh, uh, for, for G schemes, and, okay? You, you have to, 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 to use a, a kind of quasi-projective properties, so namely to use ample invertible generalized bundle. So, the only reference I know for that is, uh, is uh, this narrow model book, so the Bosch, Luc, Duhamel, Renault. Okay, so and twisting is not limited to <laughs> to the affine world, but it's more complicated w when you go outside. Okay, so how much time I have? Fifteen. Ah yeah, yes, please, please. I know you are angry, but the, the advantage of this thing is go much faster. You see. So no, no, I don't have to erase, and <laughs> you know. Okay, so I, I'm, I'm, I will not discuss some sp some specific example of of this uh, H1 uh, flat flat cohomology. Okay. So the first example is when you take uh, this WM. So re remember from yesterday, WM uh, e is uh, is representable for. Uh, for M being finite locally free, okay, uh, and uh, in terms of functors, it takes that thing, okay, and then this is a this is a commutative group scheme, and m w my claim is that over R this H one always vanishes, okay, and uh, and I, of course, I did not write it, but I mean for F P P F, okay. And so, and so, in particular, any VM torsor, and since my class map is injective, is trivial. So, what I do, okay, I, I'm given a, a flat cover, and I, I look at, uh, I look uh, at this complex, okay, and uh, uh, what, what happens is that this admit sort complex is. Uh, uh, since this thing is exact, okay, so if I take a G in, in, in VM, so it will be uh, an element of the, of the middle uh, term of the sequence, okay, which go to zero, but this, uh, it, it has to, by the exactness, okay, by this faithful delta descent, it has to come from the left, okay, so then this is to say that is trivial. Okay, so what I'm saying is that this, this vanishing is, is nothing but uh, uh, an obvious consequence of the faithful Hitler descent theorem. Okay, and and to connect with what maybe you you know, uh, uh, if if I replace the flat by Zariski, so the Zariski is going to be trivial as well. Okay, uh, because uh, it's uh, it's it's inject. Okay, so uh, I mean, uh, I, I, what I'm saying is that any torsor uh, for flat is trivial. So a fortiori any torsor for Zariski is trivial. And then uh, uh, this is just uh, you know the, the, the coherent cohomology of a, uh, of an affine scheme uh, is trivial. Okay, so but that that, that generalization is uh, has some importance. So an important case, another important case is when you t the case of a finite constant group. Okay, so. Uh, so you have to be always very careful when we deal with uh, abstract object and, 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 and geometrical object. So gamma is my uh, abstract object, it's final group, and I can define its associated group scheme, G, 
which is gamma air. So, and it is, uh, so you, you, have, you have two ways to, to, to think about this object. One is to look at this functor. So this functor is, GS is a group of locally constant function from spec S to gamma, okay? Or the other way is to, to write uh, what is uh, G as a scheme, okay? So it's just a, 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 the disjoint enough of, of copy of spec R, and the, the, the multiplication rules is, is, is defined from the multiplication rule uh, of gamma. And its coordinate ring is then R uh, gamma. Uh, I, I put parentheses to, to, you know, to avoid any confusion with, uh, with invariance. Okay, so in this case, uh, <laughs> yeah, there is problem on the on done. Okay, uh, well, a gamma R torsor is the same thing that a Galois gamma algebra S. Okay, so I don't know whether you know Galois algebra, but it's a it's a generalization of a rings of the classical uh, Galois theory. Okay, and uh, uh, so of course a, a special scale is that of finite Galois extension L over K of fields. Uh, so, I, <laughs> I, I'm sorry, but I'm not totally sure what is next, so. Uh, no, no, okay. Uh, is it, what, what is just missing is of group gamma, okay? Yeah. Is it, two words are missing, okay? So, so it's, you, 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 you can see any, uh, I mean, Galois extension, okay, uh, as, uh, as a special kind of, of torsor, okay. Um, okay, so an, uh, an important case, you know, GLR, we had the interpretation, you remember when we, we did play with co-cycle and trivialization to think about GLR as an automorphism group of, 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 of the trivial uh, module, okay, the trivial, I mean, of R power R, okay? So, there is a nice interpretation of H1, Rg, when G is automorphism group of some algebraic structure, okay? So, I will not be precise, because if you want to be precise when you say that, you, you embark in, uh, in difficulty. So, Fazel and Kalmas and Fazel were very kind. They wrote the, the, the most general statement about this, uh, so-called yoga of forms, okay? I, I just come back to example we discussed a bit uh, today. So when you took the, the, the orthogonal group scheme of the, of the hyperbolic quadratic forms, so it's R to N, okay? But then you will see that today with, uh, with Margot. Uh, it turns out that any regular quadratic form, okay, is, uh, is locally isomorphic to the hyperbolic form for the flat topology, okay? So what I mean, so is that I'm, I'm given a, a, a quadratic form, which is regular, okay, of, of, of rank 2n. Well, first, I have to trivialize the modules, okay, so that I can always do that is key, but that's not enough, okay? I have to trivialize, so to make hyperbolic, and so in particular, isotropic, the quadratic forms. And for that, you, you, can, do, uh, uh, you can do it quite easily uh, if... Uh, <laughs> for the flat thing, and you need to be slightly more clever if you want to, to make it for etal, okay? But this is really uh, how people think, okay? So, so they, they look at an object and, and they try to understand how, can be, how it can be trivialized, okay? And once you know that, uh, what you get, uh, I mean, you, you, you get uh, that, that the, this H1 of orthogonal groups classify quadratic bundles of rank 2n, and actually it's more than that, huh? okay? You, you have uh, an equivalence of categories between, uh, 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 no, no, what I wrote is just wrong, okay, sorry. The equivalence of categories is the group a regular quadratic form and of O2n torsors. Okay, so this, this is terrible, okay? So to mix object and classes, okay, so. So, okay, that's good, I can, I can still change that, right? Okay. Well, and, uh, and further example of, of this yoga of forms is when you take uh, the symmetric group SN. So what are the torsor for the symmetric groups, okay? So, so then the way to think 
SN is the automorphic group of what? And actually, it's automorphic group of, a, of the S algebra, S time S time S N time. Okay, so thi this this uh, this algebra, okay, is etal, <laughs> obviously, huh? and uh, and then when when you when you look when you when you look at other finite etal algebra, so if you take a finite algebra of degree n. Uh, you, you know, it, it, uh, it, uh, you, you, you split and, uh, and split and split. <laughs> it, it's, uh, you, uh, you, I mean, you find groups in polynomials, huh, what you do in Calvary theory. And then after some etal cover, then you, you, your etal algebra of degree n becomes the trivial one. Huh? So this product uh, I was talking about. And then the, the same uh, formalism shows that uh, there is an equivalence of category between the category of SN torsor and that of finite al higher algebra of rank N. Okay? So, uh, it's, uh, uh, again, this is very convenient, I mean, to have this kind of dictionary. And, uh, okay, so, of course, uh, you, 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 this dictionary comes by, by the descent methods, okay, but we can be really much more concrete, okay? Uh, and so, so, the idea is the following. I have a, an etal algebra of degree n, and I want to associate some uh, SN, uh, uh, SN torsors, okay? And an SN torsor, as I said before, this is the same thing that a Galois, I mean, SN Galois algebra. So, if you think a bit, this is just the generalization of the Galois closer, okay? And, 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 uh, and then you, you, you can find that in Serre, okay? Uh, in the 1958 paper, but they were made recent work by uh, B is uh, uh, Bargava and S is Sartriano, okay? Uh, about, you know, constructing Galois closers in, in the ring setting, okay? Okay, so I, I end, I think, with, with functoriality issues. Okay, remember. So I, I, I take a, a, mon, a, ma, a monomorphism of R group scheme. Okay, so monomorphism means that G R primes injects in H R prime for any R prime over R. And so here is a delicate uh, issue. With, uh, it's a, the, the definition of flat quotient. Okay, so I say that uh, R scheme X equipped with a map from f from h to x is a flat quotient by g. If for each R algebra s the map h s to x s induce an injective map h s mod g s over uh, uh, inside x s, but it's not only. What I want is what I want this map to be uh, uh, injective, uh, subjective in the in the in the shift uh, in, the, in the sense of sheaves. So I mean that for each x of xx, I can up to take, uh, up to refine this flat cover, okay? When I extend x to x prime, it belongs to, to the image of f, okay? So it's the French term is couvrant, okay? So, so to, to construct, uh, I mean, caution is, as you know, this is a delicate issue. I mean, here I'm telling you just what we want, okay? What, what, what is the dream we have when we have caution, I mean, and, uh, and of course, it's it, it not, it not always possible to, to construct this kind of quotient, at least in the, in the category of schemes. So a flat quotient, if it exists, is unique, okay? And furthermore, if G is normal in H, then X carries a natural structure of a group scheme, so, so that's nice. Okay, and uh, so wh what is the interest of flat quotient is that this is a special case of torsor. So if I have a flap quotient things, then the map is a G torsor. And uh, secondly, uh, there is an important thing, so it permits to construct, you, uh, to construct uh, uh, torsor. So the, the sequence we have, I mean, we have a map from GR to HR to XR, but here comes the interesting player. So this map, this map phi, which is called the characteristic map, so this map is very easy to define. It takes an element x of x there, and it looks, it, it, you, you, consider at, at the, you consider the pre-image of x in H. 
And it turns out that this thing is a G torsor, and you take this class. And when you go this class of, when you go next to H, uh, this, I mean, this, this is a trivial class. And to say we, we are talking ab about finite, uh, I mean, point on sets, uh, this is, uh, 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 th you, you, you just look at, at, at those sets, huh? uh, pointed by the class of the trivial torsors, okay? Exactly, exactly, exactly. This is a characteristic map. And so that the most, ni ni this is the nicest way to think about torsors, okay? And, uh, and, and time to time, is what you do, we take H to be linear groups, okay? And we, we, we like to, to have that. So one other way to think about it is that the, the, this phi gives you the obstruction for an element X of XR to come from HR. Okay, so it, maybe you have seen that in Galois cohomology. So I think it's, it's time to, 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 to end. So I, I will continue on that tomorrow a, a bit with, uh, with the slides, and then I will, com I, I will come to, 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 to my purpose, which is, you know, the, the case of uh, Dodekin rings and further the, the, the case of uh, affine curves. Thank you. Thank you very much. Are there questions? This does not seem to